Welcome back folks to Teach Me Unreal Tournament 2004. Today we'll have a very short segment on Bombing Run. It's sort of a bastardized version of American football. So let's go ahead and select Bombing Run. We'll be going to BR Serenity. Now the funny thing is it will let us actually join this match with just us, which is good for this training exercise. Play. Now the most important thing is using your translocator. This will allow you to get to the ball faster than anyone, also get to get to the aid of your allies, and also track down your enemies. Very important. Once you've picked up the ball, you are completely defenseless. There is one thing to note though. Let's go ahead and hurt ourselves. There we go. If you have the ball in your possession, you will gradually replenish health, which will make you very resilient if you can keep juking and jiving. What else? Well, this is a team game mode. I won't be uh, passing the ball too much because the bots are retarded. The bots actually will pass the ball almost at random. It's weird. You'll see what I mean, I'm sure. But whenever you're playing with human players, you'll want to pass it to them occasionally. And you can do that just primary fire, although it might be more effective to use your secondary fire. Doing this with a ally under your cursor will cause the ball to home when you use the primary fire. Very important. So what else do we got to talk about? Actually moving the ball. Another part of the team aspect of this is you'll want to stick with your ball holder to assist them and actually give them an opportunity to pass once they start dying. The bots don't do this so much and it's very irritating, especially if you were doing BR Serenity here because you have to walk the ball so long. You pretty much have to juke and jive the whole way. Your buddies would be uh, stuck back at base guarding the goal, which is sort of stupid, honestly, on Bombing Run. Because you might as well just have the whole team go for it, honestly. Because you can move back so fast with the translocators, it's stupid to do it any other way. One thing to know is whenever the ball goes over out of bounds like that, it will respawn back at the start. For some reason I can't fire. There we go. It's weird. Oh, I'm out of uh, I'm out of ammo, that's what's going on. Sometimes you'll run out of translocators. I should have noticed that. By the way, whenever you've just fired this, you cannot use your translocator for about five seconds. As you can see right there. Something important to note. One last thing to cover is how scoring actually works. If you read in the dial or in the uh, description, it's not too terribly complicated. You can run in the ball for seven points, or you can shoot in for three. Shooting the ball in should be an act of desperation. You should not try to do that, unless you have a very few amount of points left. For instance, if the goal score is 15 and you have 14, you might as well just shoot in. But be, pre be prepared to die if you do run in. It's not a big problem. Because once, uh, once the match is over, four, you'll see right now, we'll two, respawn one. back at the beginning. Just like that. So then, that's all there is to Bombing Run, so let's go ahead and move on the gameplay. Well, of course, since we covered Bombing Run tips today, we're going to do some Bombing Run gameplay, aren't we? So, what's our first one? We're going to go to BR Disclosure. Let's look at our game rules. Godlike bots, 20 minutes. Hopefully it won't take that long. It's funny with Bombing Run, it can take a really long time or it can take a very short time. And then we'll have a uh, goal score of 15. Let's see our advanced options. No friendly fire. Uh, nothing else you really need to know about, I guess. Okay, folks, we're going to have to get moving real quick here. Here we go. God damn it! Oh, you and your in position. I can't move. There we go. Maybe I can slip through their defenses. Well, I hope I can. Nope. Fly through. Oh my gosh! It actually went in. We'll just wait. Get ready for our next round. Okay, let's run with it again. Distract him, fellas. Don't kill him, just distract him. 
Oh my goodness. No, get the translocator out. It's all about speed. We'll see if they can get me again. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Fastest bombing run ever. Holy shit. Whew. If you let them get the ball, it's a real pain in the ass. But if you can get it at the beginning, you can just get it and run with it. Well, since that match was over so damn fast, let's go ahead and do another one. We're going to go to BR Skyline. It's sort of plunge-like. That's why I like it, of course, because I like plunge. Same rules as before. Not a bad place to start. We'll be able to get to the ball real quick. Yep. Oh boy. Dodge the beams! Keep juking, driving, all that stuff. Oh, damn it. Oh, darn it. It's not like there was anyone I could pass to. Let's go ahead and try to intercept them. Actually, let's get this first. Nope. Stop it. I don't know where the ball is. It says it's right over there. I think it may have fell off the edge. Nope. Where's the ball? Ow, 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 ow. Damn it! I can't even get to the freaking hole because they keep knocking me up in the air. There we are. Is that our first one? New round in. Five, four, yep, that's our three, first. Two, one. Good. Getting in a good position for our next round. Red team on now, if you do that jump wrong, you really lose a lot of time. Oh, perfectly executed. Juke jab, juke jab, juke jab. That guy's moving under sip. Oh, and he did it masterfully. Blue team on offense. He couldn't just shoot me with the beam, you'll notice. He had to He had to shot combo me. It's because they're a douche. These godlike bots. Really? Wow. Let's move to help. Nicely done. I mean, your base killing your dudes. Just because I can. Red team on offense. Had to do a little jump that time to get enough momentum. Oh man, there's two of them over here. Oh, and I got my foot stuck. Darn it. Blue team on offense. I was trying to do a double strafe and my foot got stuck. Get some of that. Was that the... That'll work. That'll definitely work. Hee. Thanks for the ride, douche. Victory. Of course, I get adrenaline right there at the end. Didn't need it. That shock combo really helped. Or that shock rifle, I should say, that they were shooting me in the back with. Still a lot more time, so why don't we do some more assault? What are we going to do this time? Let's do an old classic, AS Convoy. What do we got? Bot skill godlike? Yeah, all the same stuff. I don't even know why I go through this all the time. Just to show you that I'm not, like, doing anything funky. See, make sure there's no mutators on. Yep. Here we go. This scenario is a recreation of the recovery of the Nexus prototype missiles by the NEG military after they were stolen by the Hellions. NEG forces pinpointed the location of the cache due to a hidden homing device on these devastating weapons of mass destruction. 
The exact location of the missiles could only be pinpointed during the short period when they were being transferred from one location to another above ground on Terran, and the military had no choice but to strike at this time. The attackers must first make their way to the Hellion's boarding platform, manipulate the controls and extend the platform to allow the advance to continue. At this point, it may be a good idea for the attackers to remove this control panel and convert the trailer circuitry to work for them instead of the Hellions. It will allow for a faster advance and an upgrade in weaponry. The attackers must cross the boarding platform, reach the rear door, and plant explosives on the door to gain access to the inside of the Hellion repair vessel. In order to make a quicker advance, open the rear doors of the repair vessel. This will allow the attackers to start much closer to the next objective. One word of caution, there is a gasoline tanker within the repair vessel. Watch your fire, or it may explode, making progress far more difficult. The attackers need to flip this switch in order to be able to proceed any further. This will allow them to control the side doors to proceed to the final objective. The attackers must make it to the weapon trailer. Once inside, they must hold this switch to retrieve the Nexus missiles. Extend the boarding platform to gain access to the repair vessel. So the first thing we're going to do here is soften up their defenses. And in the way, we're going to actually destroy this turret. We can kill a few snipers if we want. That also will be helpful for our team. Someone's shooting us. I think they're sniping us over to the right. But I really need to concentrate on this. For a second there, I thought it was dead, but I'm just retarded. Come on, there she goes. Let's see, who's shooting me? Was it you? It was you, wasn't it? Stop it. Okay, let's get out of here. We want to be using our shield gun a whole bunch here because the bots do have sniper rifles. And of course, since they prioritize the human player, we need to really worry about it. Well, that's exactly what will happen if you don't use your shield gun. Let's wait for our buddies to get over here. We need more distractions. I heard someone close to us. Someone's already capturing that thing in back. Okay, here we go. Well, that was amazing. Pure luck, though. Oops. Made a slight miscalculation there, buddy. Oh, boy. I should have been sniped there, but I wasn't. Come on. Oh, darn it. Maybe my buddy can get it. Nope, it's turned back. Extend the boarding platform to gain access to the repair vessel. That's a shame. We were close. Anyone coming? No, it looks like they're all falling off the edge. Come on, guys. 
Don't go the top way. Don't be an idiot. There you go. Now you're doing it right. Now we're stuck over here by ourselves again. Let's go ahead and make a run for it. Sounds like someone's on that turret over there. That's a shame. Here we go. We're going to sneak over here and get this weapons cache. As you can see, that thing can't get an angle on us. Not oh, much of a problem. Now we're going to shoot this thing. There we are. Has a nice blind spot right there if you want to dispatch it. Now for this, this is probably one of the harder portions. Do we have someone up here in this thing? No? Okay, let's switch over to this. We're going to spam rockets down here. Oh, maybe we'll help our team, though. That's all you can hope for. You're not going to single hand this shit. Is someone in there? Nope. Let's go. Wait for a buddy. We already got one here with Dominator. You son of a bitch. Ooh. See, bots and sniper rifles. It's just not a good thing, folks. Look what they do to you. Can't believe I'm leaning in points, though. That's just... It's a fluke, folks. It shouldn't be that way. The bots are much better than this map. Let's just sit tight. Okay. We need a distraction. Ow, you son of a bitch. They're already sniping me through the... Through the slots in that bridge. You are attacking... Destroy the door of the repair vessel so you can enter it. Maybe I should use my shield while I'm in there. Not be an idiot. Come on, guys. Everybody at once. Everybody at once. Come on. Ho ho! I absorbed that with our shield. No, it's just me. Everyone else got destroyed. Well, let's do have another go at it. You guys coming? I I don't want to leave Dominator out there by himself, but I'd like two or three people in here. There we are. Oh, damn it. I got shot in the back of the head. Someone's there behind us. Come on, guys. We can do this. Or at least I know you guys can. I'm just trying to help. Maybe I should just sit back here and fire some rockets. They're already shooting me. Oh boy. Yeah, now they're getting it. This is a winning strategy. We don't have to move, move, move that far. We just need to get back here. You must open the rear door of the repair vessel. Oh, we got a good a good amount of uh, bar off that, though. With that little suicide charge. We're part of the solution, folks. We're part of the solution here. Now, we shouldn't have so much trouble getting in. We still do need to spam some rockets as we approach. Then we're going to sling some of these around the corner. Oh, damn it. The door has been opened. Good. We'll be able to teleport in a second here. There we go. Suicide charge! Damn it, I fell down. Cool, we helped. You must infiltrate the Nexus trailer. I'm gonna go around to the other side and cheap shot that turret. It's the only way you can really do it, just cheap shot it. Has a blind spot right here. Of 
course, they will still be able to hit you. Darn it. I can't really see when I'm firing that shock rifle. I still can't believe I'm leaning in points. Bots are slacking this round, folks. Did it die? Yes, it did. I think we can also cheap shot this thing a little bit. I think? Maybe? No, it's going straight through. Don't worry about it then. We'll just have to use our smart shield. What the hell? Okay, I did get shields. I was just confused there. Damn, they already got it! Let me help, team! Good work. Drekkerig? I think that. Or unless it's German, Jekarish. It's probably Scar. It doesn't really matter either way. Defending this is much easier for me. Assuming I know which direction I'm going in. You son of a bitch, I want to get in there. Ow, douche. See, they're already shooting me. Where the hell is the way up? There's a reason I keep having this thing up. I need to pay attention to which way I'm going, but still. Okay, now we should be able to get to this other turret, no problem. There we are. Whoops, sorry, buddy. This is not as good as the other turret, but we can still be helpful. Not be constantly headshotted. Apparently someone's close. I see you over there. It's just a body. For some reason, the boss don't get on this turret so much. I, I'm not exactly sure why that is. It's really a shame they don't. The thing would be really helpful in any situation. You could use it to take down this turret, or the first turret, like I did when we were attacking. I hope you guys can relax and think that this uh, turret sound is soothing because we'll be here for six minutes doing this assuming they don't blow it up which I don't think they will they haven't even hit us yet that turret over there will die soon enough though I see you trying to sneak your way up it's not gonna work not while I'm over here I don't know what this guy's doing he's not even I just face bomb guys what the hell are you guys doing? And he jumped off like a jackass. If you think you're going to get over here, you are sadly mistaken. Thought I heard someone over here. I must have heard something else. So quiet. Where is everybody? There they are. And they expect them to get this far. I don't expect them to get much further either. You saw how uh, how hard it was for us to crack that door. Now they have to do it. What the hell was that? I don't know why that rocket came sailing towards me, but I don't care for it. Nothing like sniper rifles just flying through the air. I see you, douche. How are you not dead yet? You need... The hell? Did my turret just blow up? It must have. Okay, I guess we're going into this mode then. Let's go ahead and get out our sniper rifle. Did that turret blow up or what? Hmm. Someone coming across the bridge? No, not yet. There's one. Sneaky. Looks like we got you though. No matter how much you crouch. This is more interesting than me sitting in the turret anyway, so I guess that's that's a good thing about me dying. Still got a lot of time. Ooh! Had a team effort on that one. The first one shot me, and then the next one shot me. You are defending. Defend the door of the repair vessel. 
Oh, they're shooting at me. That'll happen. Nope. You're not getting in here. Not placing explosives on our door. It's our door. Sorry. Oh, damn it. I walked right into that thing. That was a powerful rocket. I must have been hit by a... by a sniper shot or something. That was only one rocket. Trying to kill me. Don't do that. Getting my sniping skills back, folks. Oh, damn it. Of course, the godlike bots never lose it. They're so awesome. Oh boy. I'm getting pinned down. I can't even move. They keep hitting my shield. Damn it. See, even when you have your shield gun up, folks, these godlike bots are just simply godlike. You need. Well, actually, you can do whatever you want. Nope. Camping this thing is the proper way to defend, folks. The That's what I'm doing. Cash has been okay, they finally got to that. You don't have to do that. It's optional. Is that an enemy or... Red team? I can't tell. What are you doing over there, Axum? You trying to confuse me? You son of a whore. There's too many of them, folks. They've got it. The explosives are in place. Move, move, move. Defend the rear door of the repair vessel. Attackers have breached the repair vessel. Defend the rear door of the repair vessel. Go ahead and get up here so we can defend it. Actually, I shouldn't be over here. What the hell am I doing? I thought we were uh, another objective forward. Look at him wiggling. Oh, well, I saw you coming through there and I didn't know. Trying to kill me, you sons of bitches. Oh, I don't know what the hell I was doing. I was getting greedy for those rockets. I think we've got it. Keep wiggling, guys. Keep wiggling. Get some rockets always helps. It's got a little bit on it. There it come. Spam, spam, spam. Swim some rockets for them. Getting some low on some rockets. I want to get some more. Get some more. Okay, we're doing all right. How we doing here? They're falling back. Let's go ahead and fall back here. Wait for him to get close. Oh, darn it. You are defending. Defend the rear door of the repair vessel. Red team successfully defended. Not too bad. Look how, is the winner. look how even our team was in points. I mean, I was second to last, but I had 53 to 57. That's not too bad. Pretty even all around. All right, folks. It's time again for our Q&A segment. We have a question here from 117 Super Dude. He asks, Lethal, what is your opinion of UT3? Well, sir, I don't have much of an opinion on UT3 because I really haven't played it enough to tell you. And there's a very valid reason for that. Most of the time I've put into UT is actually not on Windows, but on Linux. Back when UT 2004 was all the rage, I was primarily using uh, Linux. I didn't have any Windows machines to speak of. It's one of the cool things that Epic did back then. They poured all their games over to Linux. Actually, id Software did the same thing. You can see stuff like Doom 3 and Quake 4 over on Linux, as well as Quake 3 Arena. But as far as uh, UT, is, UT 3 is concerned, at the time before its release, of course I was extremely excited because you know how much I love this game. Of course I was going to look forward to its successor. So I asked, I asked Epic, okay, is this thing going to be for Linux? They're all, hell yeah, just like 2004, you're going to be able to run this thing on your Linux machine. The installer will be on disk. And I'm all, okay, good deal. And then time passed and I go back to Epic and they say, 
Okay, well, it's not going to be on the disk. The installer will not be on the disk, but at the time of release, you will be able to download that Linux installer from our website and install it on your Linux workstation. So I'm all right, that's cool. And then time passed, and they're okay, it won't be out at time of release. I'm, are you kidding me? And they're all, no, no, it really, it really will be out after, shortly after release. We have our guy, Ryan Gordon, uh, porting this thing over the Linux as we speak, and also Mac. It's also not available for Mac, I should uh, mention that also. So I'm, okay, well, just don't keep me hanging. So of course I was waiting, and I'm waiting, and, I, and to this very day I'm waiting. Naively. It actually has been confirmed on the UT3 announce mailing list over at iclus.org that it will not be poured over to Linux or Mac. Most regrettably. Which really pisses me off, honestly, because they led me on like this was going to be just like UT2004 and also UT. It was going to be available for Linux. But anyway, nowadays I actually wouldn't mind playing it on Windows, since I clearly have a Windows machine, but I'm not going to pay any more than $5. I'll probably have to wait for one of them Steam sales, you know what I mean? So I'm sorry I couldn't give you a more in-depth opinion of UT3, like its mechanics and how its weapons work, or how the game modes are so good. I mean, I know they have Greed as a native game mode, as that's a mod in UT2004, and they also have Warfare, which is supposed to be some kind of co-mingling of Assault and Onslaught, which would be pretty cool. I really do like Onslaught. So, in conclusion, I'll see you next time on Teach Me UT 2004. Thanks for watching.